Sit. Sit. Oh, good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Okay. Yep, that works. Come here. Come here. Okay. You're free. You don't know it yet. It's over in here now. Now she's down there. I'm observing to see what her pattern is. I'd be thrilled if she came back this quickly, which she is. <laughs> she's headed for the field. Or, no, she's headed up the game trail. I'm going to follow her more just to see again where she's going what she's doing not to yell at her i didn't see her and she wasn't responding to my whistle I got back just across on the game trail on our on the pro property and I looked toward the turtle trot trail and there she was scurrying along through the underbrush. I gave a whistle and she came to me. She got her wonderful treat and now we're back here and I've got to train her to stay here, not to run into the south field because that's not our property. I want her to stick to the property. I've done that with every other dog. I don't know how I <laughs> how I manage that. You stay here. Come on. You stay here. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Well I want to shovel up some grub some um, gopher piles at least the ones in the front right in the front of the house there and I got to repair the one that Inslee dug a hell of a hole then down into a gopher hole god she can dig fast when she gets going <laughs> Look out, don't stand directly behind her with the camera again. Worse yet, crouch down so you get a low shot <laughs> of the dirt flinging into the lens again. Well, what do I do? Do I, I don't want to leash her to the cement block. That seems contrary to what we're trying to do here. But if I don't, I'm going to have to watch her. Yeah, nose in the air. You stay here.
just like a six-year-old kid helping his dad out in the yard. He really wants to help, he wants to be like dad, so he's helping. Little do they know they're doing more unhelpfulness than they're helping with. Just let them help. If they want to help, God bless them. It's a little frog. No, 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 no. There you go. Like that. Well, I missed it. She flushed a grouse. She saw it first. And there's no stopping her. And I let her go. She ran all the way out into the field, around the field. Come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Come on. Oh, good girl. Oh, my gosh. This is miraculous. Absolutely miraculous. Come on. I would never have expected this to happen after what she did the last time she ran away good girl yeah come on that's a girl what a change when she responds to me that way when she's out like this right now on the track I have to let her do a bit of this I am learning how to train while she's learning to be trained. We're both in school. I'm thrilled, actually, because I am learning on the job training. Wow. Okay, no, no, drop it, drop it, drop it. Hey, Inslee, come. Come on, Inslee, come. No, drop it. How do I hold her and the camera and take it away? Give. And it looks older than a fresh kill. Now, oh, what do I do with it? This is just a minute later. Come on. She ran off, well, ran off again into the woods, circled around to the game trail, and looked like she was maybe going to try to go to Otter Pond. And I whistled, and she instantly came running all the way from there. So when she doesn't come like that, she is tracking. Come on, hey. Come on. Jesus. 
no rest for the interrupter. Okay. So there's another bit of important information about her. When I just whistled her back here now, she wasn't on the scent of something. That's why she instantly launched off and came running back to me. So if she does not do that, then maybe let her go. I don't know. What can I do? What else? I can't get her back. <laughs> I think that was another bumblebee. One was tormenting her the same way a couple hours ago. I saw it hovering around in the grass up by the burn ring. Oh, my first... I had to get closer to take a look at it. That was a bumblebee. Then it took an interest in Isley, round and around, back and forth. She finally snapped at it. <laughs> She'll learn if she gets it one day. Oh, don't snap at those. And I saw my first little wildflowers hours or so ago. We walked Turtle Trot Trail. Oh, here they come. Anemones. There. Temperature is about mid upper 60s. And we're headed for 70 tomorrow. And the next day, and then Saturday, we start a period of potential rain. I was reminded last night I was doing chores with a pair of imitation leather. Got a sliver, punctured right through it. You know, I've been using those all winter to gather firewood. Never a problem, but got it last night. Good reminder, use nothing but leather, period. So, and these are outside. I picked them up a couple weeks ago out of a bucket in the woodshed, and they were as stiff as cardboard. Well, these are no good. Maybe I should throw them in the dryer for a few minutes. Well, I just did this with them. Limbered right up. There she is. There you go. Oh, what a good girl. That's a good girl, sweetheart. Sit. Sit. Okay. Yeah, good girl. She's having the time of her life. And I am now, too, because she's coming. And she's been free 15, 20 minutes. Every so often I look out. Oh, I see her. Good. That's going to change in the next two weeks. Glad we're doing this now because, I, hey, she, she is totally reliable now. She came out from somewhere over in there. I feel so 
real smart <laughs> driving that ATV. I love this. We got an oil leak, new gasket, and it went bing, 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 bing. She's got such white teeth. I went looking for her. I had been working around here in the yard. She was in the woods and underbrush between here and the, the big um, deer stand. And I didn't see her. I, ha I saw her heading up farther. And I just let her be. And she's been gone for half an hour. And I finally got to a stopping point. Thought I need to go look for her. Headed out, took the game trail up. I got just over on Dennis's land. I heard something behind me. There's <laughs> there's Ensley. Coming from where? I don't know. The old Suki trick. You see him heading off that way, and they suddenly turn up coming up behind you. <laughs> My comedian, my clown. Boy, the ticks are really hot here now. I raked, trying to open up the path down Appaloosa slope, like I had the path last year. And all that dead straw, I guess you'd call it, put it in the trailer, put the shovel back on top of it, the blue one, and looked a minute later, there's a tick crawling across, a wood tick, thankfully crawling across the surface of it. Well, I killed it. Thirty seconds later, there's another one crawling out of the dead grasses. There is just no stopping her. I have a hunch about Inslee. When I went looking for her, and she came up behind me, it's like she sensed or smelled me. Maybe she was down at Otter Pond or in that area. And the wind is coming out of this, that, the right direction for her to scent me. And now she's gone again, and I don't, I don't, I don't know where she went. I had no idea what direction she went. But next time I go looking for her, I'm going to look for her down at Otter Pond first. And if she scented me, she came looking for me, knowing that I was in the neighborhood. And that's why she found me. Hell. She was on the deck. I walked toward the camera on the tripod, and she came tearing off the deck, past me, to go down here. I was going to show you, she's been gone for 10 minutes again. And she just came back all on her own, soaking wet. <laughs> this is going to take some getting used to. And I don't really have much choice on whether she disappears like this or not.
earlier this afternoon, we were out here and I looked over and saw her digging up my beautifully landscaped new soil there that I got rid of the gopher mounds from. And now looking at it, well, there was a gopher here digging up, making a new mound. Damn. Nora Roberts. From what I remember of that name, I don't think so. Thank you.